Hello everybody. As you might already be aware that the direct flight ban from India to Canada has been lifted by Government of Canada effective 27th of September and last weekend I actually made a Q&A video about it. Many people had many questions around this decision. So over the last weekend I uploaded a video which was in length about this decision about the different uh, questions and queries that you might have and there was one query which was about the connecting flights so many people asked that what if they want to travel from delhi to toronto let's say for example via london frankfurt dubai or all these uh, different countries if they have a connecting flight in the third country would that be considered as a direct flight and if they actually get the PCR test done in Delhi, would that be valid and accepted by immigration in Canada? So I said in that video that yes, that would be accepted. But as soon as I uploaded the video, some people actually commented that uh, that's not the case. They have actually called Air Canada and CBSA uh, to inquire about it. If the connecting flights would still be considered as direct flights or people would still need to take a test in the third countries even if they're not moving out of the airport, even if it is just a connecting flight. So as soon as I read those comments, first of all, I unlisted that video so that just in case if that information was wrong, it does not spread to many people. And then after that, I called Air Canada and they also confirmed the same thing that those flights would not be considered as direct flights. If you're transiting from any country, if even if you have a connecting flight, let's say from, uh, from London or Frankfurt, you need a negative RT-PCR or a negative PCR test from that third country. So please accept my apologies for that. If I'm making a video, I should definitely convey the right information and that is why I am making this video to first of all admit my mistake and to inform the right things to all the people out there and to be very frank with you I booked my own flights via Frankfurt because those flights were quite cheaper at that point of time in uh, mid of October but as soon as I got to know about it I rescheduled those flights to November from connecting flights to direct flight so yes, I am coming to India sometime very soon if everything still stays the same, if the case counts in India is still low. So I would finally be coming to India after almost three years, but I will be talking about that in some other video. But in the last three, four days, many people have asked me about that particular video because it had uh, answers to many of your queries, not just that one uh, query of connecting flight. So the latter part of this video, I'll be including all those queries. So I really hope that the situation of traveling from India to Canada, which is still quite complex, would be a lot easier if you watch this video till the end. Now, the other question is about the PCR test. People are uh, curious to know if they should only take the RT-PCR test or the rapid test because there's a big price difference between the two. So I tried checking the Delhi airport testing facilities, uh, different tests that they actually offer. They offer two types of tests. The first one is the RT-PCR test and the second one is rapid PCR test. So don't get confused. There's one rapid antigen test and there's one rapid PCR test. Yes, there's a big price difference between the two. The RT-PCR test would actually cost you just 500 rupees and the rapid PCR test would actually cost you 3900 rupees per person. So in the announcement, Canada actually mentioned that all the molecular tests would be accepted. If you check out their website, the molecular tests actually mean a PCR test or an RT-PCR test and there are certain other tests mentioned in that list as well. So both the rapid PCR test and the RT-PCR tests would be accepted. The main difference is that when you actually get the RT-PCR test, you would actually get the report in probably somewhere between six to 10 hours. If you actually get the rapid PCR test because it's much more costlier, then you would actually get the report in next uh, 45 minutes to next two or three hours. So that is the main difference between the two the cost and the time when you actually receive the report. Now, I remember someone asking me a question who was planning to board from Delhi, that where is this testing facility actually located? Is it actually inside the airport or outside the airport? So it's actually outside the airport. So which means that you can get tested 
18 hours before and of course after a test you can go back to your home or your hotel and then once you get the test report at the regular time 3 or 4 hours before the uh, flight departure you can actually uh, come back to the airport with the negative test report. So of course all those people who are traveling from different cities let's say Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore all those people if you want to travel through Delhi you actually need to get out of the airport so please take a note of that just don't book any tickets where there's a layover only of two hours or three hours because that will certainly make the things a bit troublesome you might certainly find a queue in that testing center as well and that might also take its time so it's highly suggested that you actually take a good layover in Delhi if you book an RT-PCR test, then at least take that 18 hours layover. If you actually book a rapid PCR test, then at least have 5 to 6 hours of layover in Delhi so that you can easily get your report. However, most probably you should get the reports much earlier than that, but still you should have that time in your hand so that at least don't miss your flight because of that silly reason. However, those who already booked their flights from Air Canada, they actually sent an email to them saying that the cutoff time for the RT-PCR test is 10 hours before the departure and for the rapid test is 6 hours before the departure. Which means that if you want to get your RT-PCR test done, then you should get it done between 18 hours to 10 hours before your departure. So that's an 8 hour window while you'll get a 12 hour window to get the rapid PCR test done. But this cutoff rule hasn't been announced by the government of Canada. It might be the Air Canada's precautionary measure just to make sure that their travelers actually get the results in time before the departure just to avoid any kind of ruckus before the flight actually departs. So next question is for all of those people who are unvaccinated, what are the requirements? So mind it, whatever visa you have, if you're unvaccinated, which means that even if you have one dose of Covishield or maybe you have uh, two doses of Covaxin that is still not approved by Health Canada, so Canada does not approve it, which means that even if you are vaccinated with two doses of Covaxin or totally unvaccinated, even then you can travel to Canada. You would still need that negative COVID-19 uh, report from that testing facility in Delhi, the same rules, but you cannot skip home quarantine after landing in Canada. You have to complete 14 days of home quarantine. You don't need to do hotel quarantine anymore, but you still need to do the home quarantine and you need to update your home quarantine details in the arrive can app before boarding your flight somebody asking about some clarity on the molecular test that is to be done at the delhi airport people traveling from their home place already have a negative certificate so why do they actually need to get tested again in delhi so actually you don't need to get a negative certificate from any other place apart from that uh, delhi testing facility you only need to get the uh, negative test report from that facility only so that's the rule that is what we have to follow i can't answer why but yes i can tell you that this is the rule and this is what we have to follow next question is from all of those people who want to travel from canada to india let's say from Toronto to Delhi, do they actually need to get tested before the flight even if fully vaccinated? So yes, you certainly need to get a negative PCR report if you want to skip the quarantine. You should definitely get that 72 hours before the departure of your flight. You still need that COVID-19 test report. All right, guys, these were all the queries that I thought were pretty generic and people were confused about these questions. If you have any other question apart from these, then please put it down in the comment section below of this video. Then I will definitely try to get back to you to answer those uh, queries. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know if you want to see important videos and updates like these, then you have to click the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching this video.